Okay, comic book fans, Hair Chef here. I have gotten back my box from CGC, finally. Um, this is, so from going back to my very first video I did, I submitted, I do believe it was eight books, and they were submitted on 625 of 20 of this year. Uh, these three I received back. These were not pressed. The only big difference with these is that they were given the Spider-Man labels or uh, special labels, I guess I should say, for each of those. Um, so it's kind of the only big difference with those. But those took, so I got these back on 8-3 um, of 20. So those took six and a half weeks. So just for submitting them, and by the time that they got to CGC, which was 625, the day I received them back was 83, I do believe. So about six and a half weeks. And then my next ones, the ones that are in the box down here, those went off to CCS, which is CGC's um, pressing service. And those took 12 weeks from the date that I submitted them to the date that CGC received them from CCS and then 925 so it was three months to the date so 625 to 925 that i am just now getting my books back so kind of go over the ones that we got back this is my campbell variant 9.8 with the spider-man logo the new york city skyline this one i was hoping for a 9.8 came back as a 9.8 which is great so we got that This one, uh, this is one I picked up as a child, I guess a kid, um, back in 93. This one does have the Venom custom logo. What this one I noticed has, so it's a 9.6, and I think it'll pick up in the camera. But right through here, there's a little bit of a dent and a little bit of a tick to it, so I'm pretty sure that's what gave that one a 9.6. But other than that, it is a very clean copy, so... That one little bit will make a world of difference. So first Venom own title, Spider-Man appearance, uh, red halo graphic uh, foil cover on that one. There we go. And this one I did not send off for pressing. It did not need it. It was a very uh, flat, looked nice, very presentable copy. What this one had, which I hope will show up, but it does have two printing errors, not printing errors, but from the machines that kind of grab it and as it runs through the machine. So it does have two little ticks on it, but corners are extremely sharp, not too bad. But those, that one there, 9.6, great copy. So here's what I've been waiting for. Like I said, these are books that I got um, as a kid. Either pulled them off the rack or acquired them at a very young age. So these have more uh, sentimental meanings to me than anything else. So have a Amazing Spider-Man 300. We got a Amazing Spider-Man 312. First Venom. $2.99 and then also a uh, Venom cover of number, I think it's number 317. So let's see there. I already saw the first one. I have no idea what order they're going to be in, so we'll kind of see them together here. So first one, we have a 5.0, Amazing Spider-Man 299. So Venom cameo, there we go, 299, 5.0. Amazing Spider-Man 316, so first, I do believe this is the first uh, Venom cover here. Yep. 
Phantom Black Cat appearance. Two fifty two. I knew this one was in bad shape. It has spine ticks everywhere, uh, color breaking folds, everything. So not the greatest copy, but like I said, this is from my childhood. Uh, geez, 84, 1984. Been a little while. Three, five. And one of the first comic books I ever picked up off of the rack back in 1989. Spider-Man 312, so this one's got a little bit of sentimental value for me more than anything else. And then the last, surprisingly, 4-0, Amazing Spider-Man 300. Now this one had some major, major, major damage on it with uh, I think it had a huge watermark all right through here. So that was pressed out and does look pretty good. So they did a great job with it. So there we go. Long awaited. Oh yeah. One small piece of tape on the back cover. I don't know if they took it off or not. Yeah. Plenty of color breaking. But there we go. They're back, baby. Three months in the waiting. Uh -huh.